again for joining me in the studio. I'm Janice Baylor and I'm welcoming you back to another fun drop-in art session. Thank you very much to Perry County Council of the Arts and participating partners for continuing to host our drop-in art sessions virtually. Today for our project we will be making this fun watercolor coffee filter and paper doll uh, globe and we will be talking a little bit about good citizenship and stewardship of the earth which you can find a little bit more information about that in the educational links provided below so stay tuned and here come the supplies for this project for today's project you will need a coffee filter an assortment of water-based colorful markers in blues and greens a tray that you can spray water into, a spray bottle of water or a water brush, a strip of brown construction paper, a square of red construction paper, some scissors, a pencil, and glue. Today we are going to be making an earth watercolor coffee filter. This is a really cool technique where the water will kind of help blend all the color together. So to make something that looks like the earth, we want to color kind of like land shapes. So just color blobs of greens. And I'm gonna color kind of like a blob that represents the United States, one that represents South America, maybe one over here that represents Europe and one for Africa. And those are the major land masses here in the world. And you wanna use a few different colors of green to really get that variety of color of the land. And you don't have to be exact with this, just go ahead and kind of scribble it on really important to be a good steward of the earth and treating our fellow citizens well because we all inhabit the earth together and you can learn a little bit more about good citizenship by visiting some of the educational links provided. So just continue layering the color however you like until you think you've got enough colors here. And that's my green section and then I'm going to go in with my blues to make the water. The earth is mostly water but unfortunately not water you can drink. It's all a lot of salt water. It's very beautiful. So we're gonna add in our blues. Okay, and then once you have it filled up the way that you would like, you'll want to spray it with water. And this allows the watercolor in the brushes, the ink and the uh, markers and stuff to blend all together. And then you can assist that if you like, if you have a little brush, by kind of moving the color around too with a brush. But that's not necessary because it will blend together. This is just, if you have it and you wanna play a little bit more and get a little bit more of a blended look, you can see how that's helping to blend all of the markers together to give the appearance of an earth. And you will let it want to set this to dry. I pulled mine gently off of the tray and then set it on an old towel um, or you could sit it on old newspaper, although it may pick up the ink from the newspaper too. So I recommend an old towel if you have an old towel or um, it's something that you could set it on to help it dry. So once it's dry, 
you have your beautiful earth uh, coffee filter, your blended earth. And then to make the little hands of unity across it, we're going to do paper dolls. And maybe you've seen these before, or maybe you've even done them before, but they're really fun. Uh, so you need about a two inch strip, and I'm using a brown construction paper. And then you want to do what's called an accordion fold. So that's where you fold it over and then back over itself so that it, when we pull it out, each one of these little sections is connected by a fold. So back and forth and back and forth until you get to the end. And then I just sketched out a very basic little person shape. So it doesn't have to be precise. I just drew a head and then a little body, and little legs. The most important part though is that the arms go off of the edge of your paper so that we don't want to cut on the edge because that's what's going to keep the dolls connected by their hands, okay? So now we're gonna cut out our shape, leaving the sides connected. Do not cut out the arms, okay? So cut through all of your pieces of your fold. That's why we don't want a very big piece of paper because all these layers get thick and hard to cut. So take your time or ask your adult helper. Maybe they can cut out your shape for you. So see how I'm leaving the hands? I'm just cutting in from this side, but I'm not cutting at that edge. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in below my hand mark and cut that part off too. And then same on this side, I'm cutting up and to the arm and I'm cutting in from the arm but I am not cutting that edge because I want it to stay connected. Okay, and then you can cut out their legs too. A lot of layers. Again, just take your time. Make little cuts. Okay. So there you can see. Oh, I have a little half person. We don't need all of them. And then when you open it up, you have all of these little people connected by their hands. And then we are going to glue them on top of our earth. So you'll need to put a little glue on the back of each one of your people. Okay, so once we have it glued, then we'll flip it over and put them going across our earth. Okay, so there's all our little people connected across the earth and then to make a heart you've probably done this before we're going to take our square of paper fold it in half and then really easily you just come up from one side and make a curve and then you bring it down to a point at the bottom and when you open it up the mirror image is on the other side and that makes our heart shape and then you can glue that in the center or I'm going to put mine up above since I made a really big heart, but if you make a little heart, you could put it across the center or you could put it down below or you could make a whole bunch of little hearts, whatever you want to do. It's your project. So to attach my heart, I'm just going to go ahead and put glue on the back and then add it to my globe. And there you have it, a beautiful watercolor coffee filter globe with our little paper dolls across the front. So thanks for joining me today, friends.